What's good y'all, it's your girl Mo back with another video. So this week's gonna be a little different. Um, as y'all know, I do have acne. It's like one of my biggest insecurities. It's trash, um, it hurts, and it's just not appealing to look at. So um, I've come to the point, I've had acne for like seven years. My skin will clear up and then all of a sudden my shit will just start breaking out again. So I'm honestly over it and I know people who have acne, like you want to stay from Accutane and that's like your last resort, but bitch, I'm there. This is my last resort. So today is day one of Accutane. I decided that I'm going to take you guys on this journey with me because I've watched mad videos and honestly it's helped me get an idea of how Accutane is gonna basically affect your body, how your body will react to it. I mean everyone's different but having a video, you know, seeing somebody actually go through it is a little more comforting. So if I can help y'all, you know, like others have helped me, I'm gonna do that. So yeah, this is my current situation right now. I don't really break out on my forehead. It's more so just like my cheeks, which is weird because when I had acne like in high school, I would always break out here and never here. But it's like opposite now that I'm an adult. But um, yeah, my skin's going crazy right now. <laughs> Shout out to my skin. You feel me? Um, I'm actually on like my monthly cycle, so it's a little worse, but excuse me um I break out here my chin and here like the most unappealing places to look at and honestly I just can't I'm not even like scared because I know there's a lot of like precautions that you should take there's a lot of ways like side effects that acne can cause so I'm not really like scared I'm more so excited because I've seen a god I've seen what you do for others okay so do this for me real quick, you feel me? So I'm more so excited. I'm ready to take on the dry skin, the dry lips, all that shit. I've got my products. So I'm just going to kind of like bring you guys along. I'm going to do like a one month update. Um, and then I'm going to do a three months and then six months. My doctor, she doesn't think that I'm going to be on it for six months because I don't really have like quote unquote cystic acne. But however long this shit takes to clear up, I'm going to be on it. So... We'll see, but yeah, I'm going to do one month, halfway through, and then tell y'all, like, the end result and what you guys should expect and things like that. So, I'm going to show y'all the products that I use, how it's affecting my face, the progression that I'm showing, and yeah, so we on day one. I'm going to check back in two weeks, and then at the end of the month, and we'll see how your girl is doing. You feel me? So, I'll be back two weeks. Boom. What's good, y'all? So, um, like I said, I'm going to be doing, like, two-week check-in, you know, first day, two weeks, and then the end of the month. So, this is two weeks officially that I've been on Accutane. What's the date, honestly? Let's see. It is... Shit, I got down. <sighs> so... I started my Accutane on the 12th. It's the 26th today, so exactly 14 days. Um, honestly, I haven't even washed my face this morning yet because I really wanted you guys to see how fucking dry my face is when I wake up. Like, I've never just woken up and my face is dry as hell. Usually it has, like, a, you know, little bit of moisture, a little bit of oil because I've been sleeping for, like, seven to, you know, how many hours. So it's accumulated some oil and some moisture. But, girl, literally dry as fuck like i don't even think you guys can see like look at that it's like crusty ew but so update on my face i feel like my face is worse than what it was when i originally started which is cool um yeah i feel like my face is worse my dermatologist told me that i was gonna go through like the purging stage or whatever um basically your face is gonna get a lot worse than it gets better um it sucks when i put makeup on because i have to use like very moisture intense products in order for my makeup not to like literally crack off my face or flake off my face um my face is super painful like it's even like it's getting a little better as time progresses. My hands are clean, okay? It's getting, like, a little better as the days go on. But when I wash my face, I literally have to be like, ugh, like, it literally hurts to wash my face. I've never had, like, 
I've had bad acne, but never to the point where it's like sensitive to touch. But yeah, it's just super dry. My lips, I know that's like a common um, factor is like your lips get super dry, but I've been keeping Aquaphor, I use Aquaphor, I use, um, let me show you. So at night, I always put Aquaphor on my lips. Like I be slabbing that hoe all over my lips. Like even on the outside, cause a lot of people get like um, sores here. So I even put it on the outside. And then um, during the day, I keep this chapstick. This is the Dr. Bronner's um, Naked Organic Lip Balm. Bro, best chapstick. I've ever tried. Let me just show y'all. Is it gonna focus? Okay, whatever. Anyways, the blue kind, Dr. Bronner's. I'll link it down below. The best chapstick I've ever had. It has like all natural ingredients. I also keep um, like the little tin. It looks like the Rosebud Solve, but it's the Vaseline. Keep that on me too. I keep that thing on me. You feel me? Um, and I also use a lip scrub. I got this one from. It's not gonna focus. There we go. Yeah, I got this one from. Um, Trader Joe's, I do like a lip scrub, like an exfoliant, like every other day or every couple days, just when I feel like my lips are kind of like just a little too dry, drier than normal. Um, but so far I haven't experienced like any cracking. I also haven't experienced like any sores right here, but I'm only two weeks in, so I don't know how it's gonna pan out eventually. So <laughs> we're just going with the flow right now. But yeah, lips are pretty good. They do get dry, which is like, expected but it's not nothing that i can't handle because i just always keep my lips moisturized and yeah like i said have you even washed my face and here's just a close-up of my face like what this is disgusting like they're literally white heads and i i don't want to pop them because yeah it's just gonna create scars things like that my forehead's clear like always um, I'm hoping, like, the Accutane is gonna make my pores a lot smaller than what they are. But, yeah, I just have, like, whiteheads everywhere, and they hurt, and they're, like, annoying. <sighs> so, yeah, like I said, I don't have, I haven't even washed my face yet. I literally don't have any moisturizer on. But, when I do wash my face, um, these are the products that I use. Every morning and every night, I use the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Um, I honestly, I really like this cleanser. Like, usually I use, like, a soppy cleanser to where it literally foams up so you, it feels like, you know, you're washing your face. But I like this because it's a lot more gentle and it, like, leaves my skin moisturized. Because Accutane is literally the point to dry out your skin to stop your body from producing oil. So, you're using hydrating products and not drying out products. And not, <laughs> and not products that dry out your skin is gonna, you know benefit you so yeah i've been using this day and night and then as far as moisturizer at night when after i use a set of fill i follow up with the um cerave moisturizing cream um this is like the intense moisture one um it's thick i don't like the texture of it because it's not like i don't know i'm used to if you guys have ever used like the neutrogena um hyaluronic acid like moisturizer i like the consistency of like a gel lightweight moisturizer that feels like it's like moisture like you can literally feel like the cooling effect and things like that i don't like thick ass moisturizers that's like kind of hard to um spread on your face or to rub in on your face and honestly it's low-key kind of hard and it hurts because my skin's already sensitive to touch so when i have to like kind of excuse me when i have to like kind of like work that shit in i'm like god damn this hurts you know but this is like the best recommendation that my dermatologist gave me so this is what i've been using and yeah i mean it moisturizes my face but like i said my face wakes up dry as fuck all the time so whatever and then during the day i've been using the cetaphil daily moisturizer with sps 15 um yeah you guys can see that right there so please use spf it doesn't matter like look y'all it's literally raining outside and it's fucking cloudy but you can still get um skin damage like skin damage you can still get some sun damage even when the sun's not out so um i always use spf since my face is super sensitive right now as well so i'm honestly happy that i'm doing it in the winter because your face is going to be super sensitive to sun if you were doing it in the summer or like in the spring when it's sunny outside all the time i would like up my um spf dosage but yeah i've just been using this i like this moisturizer super gentle i mean 
classic it's not nothing special but yeah those are the products that i've been using oh I've also been using an eye cream. This is a Burt's Bees Brightening Eye Treatment with Daisy Extract. I really like this one. Um, I just, I honestly, I always use an eye cream, but I feel like I really need to like stay on my P's and Q's with the eye cream now because everything on your skin literally dries out and I don't want my eyes to get wrinkles and dry out and be gross and crusty, you know? So I've been using this morning and night. Every time I run out of an eye cream, I honestly switch it up. I should probably get one with hyaluronic acid so it's more moisturizing. But, um, yeah, those are the products that I've been using on a daily basis. As far as, like, any side effects, um, like, within my body, my body has been so achy. Like, y'all, I'm low-key dramatic sometimes, but I swear I'm not being dramatic. Honestly, my doctor did tell me about the side effects, like, dry skin, um, dry lips, you know, you can be mentally down things like that but like she didn't really tell me about the achiness and so I want to say like after like the third or fourth day that I took it I had went to the gym and I went hard it was leg day at the gym so my camera I don't know why I stopped recording but anyways like I was saying I did leg day at the gym and the next day my back was so sore like my lower back was super sore so maybe I was like did I do like deadlifts wrong or did I like fuck up my back while I was squatting or something like that? So I didn't really think much of it. But then again, I'm like, I literally do this every week or, you know, I go to the gym often. So I know what I'm doing. Why the fuck would I, you know, hurt my back all of a sudden? But anyways, I just didn't really pay mind to it. But then like as days progressed, my back, like the pain started moving up and like my chest was like super, it wasn't like tight to where like I couldn't breathe, but like when i would wake up in the morning like my whole upper body just felt super stiff it was like so weird and now it's literally just starting to die down to where it's not as like abrasive or um it's not as like painful and yeah that's like one of the most side effects that i've got as far as like my body i haven't really experienced anything else like loss of appetite or you know feeling mentally different anything like that but then again it's only been two weeks so I don't know, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a two-week um, update on my skin. I will be back at the end of the month after 28 to 30 days um, whenever I finish my package. Oh, yeah, this is the Accutane that I use, the Clarivis um, 30 milligrams. That's what my doctor has me on now. I don't know if she's going to up the dosage or what um, when I go back for my monthly checkup. But yeah, this is the Accutane that I'm on. That was an update. Super dry skin, achy products that I use. So I will be back in 14 days. Hopefully my skin is better because <sighs> if you have acne, like, you know, you just fucking know. It's so annoying. So yeah, that was an update. I'll see y'all at the end of the month. All right, y'all, so it's officially been four weeks since I've been taking Accutane. Um, skin update, I haven't washed my face because I literally just want to show y'all how dry. Like, two weeks ago it was dry, but bitch, it's dry now. Like, I don't know if my camera is going to focus, but look how dry it is in between. It's like literally flaking off. My nose is super dry. And yes, I have a mustache because I can't fucking get it waxed. Because <laughs> you can't wax while you're on Accutane, but... Um, it's literally, ew, like, so disgusting. It's literally like, um, what's it? Like, crusty, like, flaking off. But, um, I feel like it's gotten a little better since two weeks ago. I don't, I don't know. I just feel like every day I fucking wake up with a new pimple. It's trash. Um, the pain is still, like, pretty severe, honestly. Like, even... Like, you can see, like, dry blood right here, but I do not pick at my face because if you pick at your face, then, of course, you're going to get scars in the end. So, um, the only time I feel like there's pressure caused on my face is when I sleep. Like, y'all, like, literally, I wake up and I have blood stains on my fucking white pillows. Like, I just washed them yesterday, and I already have blood stains again because the pressure from me sleeping on my face, because I'm not about to sleep like this, bro. That's not realistic but the pressure of me sleeping on my face i guess like pops like the white head so then it's just like blood it's, it's literally disgusting like this is the worst month <laughs> that i've ever been through in my life when it comes to my acne like insecurity wise 
fucking makeup application wise just the texture of my skin the way it feels like i'm not boosting having dry skin having as well as it hurting like as well as you're in pain and just having whiteheads all the time like it's just mad annoying and it's very embarrassing like I'm on Aki. I literally, every time somebody talks to me, I literally want to say, I'm on Aki Tane. This is why my face is like this. Like, low key. But I don't say it. It is what it is at this point. Like, it's kind of, it's not embarrassing to show y'all, but it's just like, it is what it is. But I want to show y'all because it helps other people and it helped me watching other videos. But yeah, anyways, side note. Um, yeah, this is how my face is. I feel like it's literally like the same as two weeks ago. It's a little less inflamed, I guess you would say. Um, I don't know. I feel like the camera makes it look worse as well. But as far as like my products, I'm using the same exact products. Um, nothing's changed with that. Physically, my um, like achiness has went down almost like 100%. But I still do get achy like my back, like when I do squats or something like that. Like my back low key hurts, which is not good. But bitch, I'm not stopping the gym. <laughs> like I have goals, okay? And uh, mentally, I don't feel any different. My lips, the, I don't, they don't really get that chapped. Like when I wake up, they might be chapped, but excuse me, I always keep chapstick on me. Like literally, I apply chapstick, like no boost, probably like 20 times a day. Um, but besides those side effects, there hasn't been anything different from two weeks ago. Um, yeah, so. That was my first month update. I hope y'all liked the video. I will be back in at like my three month mark whenever I finish three months, the halfway mark. Hopefully by then my skin will get a lot better. Cause this right now, I'm telling y'all, literally the worst. Dippy, you see the waves? Ooh. Anyways, literally the worst experience I've ever went through when it comes to my face. Like I've broken out bad, but never this bad to where it was like disgusting so yeah you can see the frustration on my face but like i said it is what it is i know the end result is gonna be great so i just keep taking that motherfucking pill every day knowing damn well i'm gonna wake up with a new pimple but whatever so i will see y'all in two weeks or no not two weeks i'll see y'all in three months um i hope you guys like the video go ahead and like comment subscribe you know what i'm saying and yeah, do something for yourself, do something for others. I'll see y'all soon. Deuces.